Hola, buenos dias. Como esta? This is Kai Pacha with the weekly Pele Report. It is now April 9th of 2014 and it's a windy day. <laughs> and if you've been listening to the Pele Report, we know what happens on windy days. I'm going to try to pull this off, but I got little foamies covering my microphones on the camera here, so I don't know, I'm, I'm trying. Hope it's not too noisy. Uh, the winds of change. These are days of change, these are times of change. It's uh, totally appropriate for the wind to be blowing and trying to do a Pele report in a windstorm. <laughs> it's like life is a huge windstorm these days. What do we got going on? It's all going on. I've been talking about this Grand Cross for a long time. It's tightening, 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 tightening. Now today as I'm doing this on Wednesday, the sun, I mean the moon is in uh, Leo, which is ruled by the sun. Tomorrow on Thursday, it goes into Virgo. And in, while it's in Virgo, it's going to oppose Venus conjunct Neptune. And then through the week, Venus is gonna move forward and and be right in this midpoint of Neptune, Chiron, Venus conjunction going on over here in Pisces. And in the meantime, then the moon inches up, goes into Libra on Saturday, until by finally, no, it's a, I think it's Sunday, it goes into Libra. We have the lunar eclipse. <laughs> It happens right around midnight on, uh, you know, between next uh, Monday and Tuesday, April 20, uh, no, um, ah, shit, you know, next week on Tuesday. The big thing, the thing is that it's on Monday in some places, depends on where you are in the world. You will actually be able to see this lunar eclipse through most of Europe, the Atlantic, Central Americas. It's a, it, it will be visible. Total lunar eclipse, really powerful. It is at 26 degrees, 25 some minutes. But I want to talk today about the Sabian symbols for the degrees of these eclipse, of this eclipse cycle that's going on now. First, we have this lunar eclipse, okay, that's happening, you know, this week. And, and then the solar eclipse is on April 29th. So we have this whole thing going on here. This Grand Cross peaks on April 23rd. So here we go. You know, lunar eclipse on the, you know, coming around like a, it's, God, I swear it's on the, like the 19th or something, you know. I feel so bad. It's on Tuesday, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so bad, man. I know the degrees and the signs and everything. It's just the dates on the Julian calendar I have a hard time with. <laughs> it's this third dimension, which I'm going to talk about a little more. Anyway, lunar eclipse, grand cross, and then comes in the solar eclipse by the end of the month. So this whole month of April, as the sun moves through Aries, this is the birth. <clears throat> this is like the... You know, this is like all the horses at the horse race, you know, and the gun, boom, goes off this month. And this ties together so much of this Pluto square Uranus that's been going on since the summer of 2012. All through 13, all through 14. It's not done until next March in 2015. But it's like this month, <clears throat> it's time. It's the gun goes off this month. It's like, boom, the new paradigm, the new age, the new reality, the new earth. This is our time. Seize the day. Seize the moment. This is the message of the stars at this particular time. It's time for us to step into our co-creative capacity as powerful beings, not as victims, not as followers, not as, yeah, martyrs being directed or run or slaved, enslaved by authorities, systems, institutions beyond our control. No, this is our time. This is our planet. We are here to bring in a new reality. 
it's really a potent, powerful time. And we feel it inwardly. And it's and it's like this is this 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 you know this eclipse is like a super moon. It's like a highly charged emotional bomb ready to like blow off, yeah? And it's building, building, building through Virgo into Libra. By next Monday, Tuesday, it's like we are all ready to just burst at the seams and blow up. It's powerful. It's emotional. It's infinite potential, which is who we are. Neptune, Chiron, Venus in Pisces. Infinite potential of a multidimensional spiritual nature. And we can want to just like, you know, have no boundaries. Let go, be loose, be free, just, you know, just like go. Take another hit. Bomb out, escape, let go, fly away on a magic carpet. But no, we are not allowed. <laughs> the universe, Saturn and Scorpio is not allowing us. Our partners are not allowing us. Our, our mortgages and our rent and our bills are not allowing us to just like bomb, bomb, bomb out. No, it's like, you know what? This is time to focus. This is time to co-create, not escape. That's I, I got to remember that one. <laughs> yeah. And so as we move into this, the scoop is, and I want to get into these Sabian symbols very powerfully. We had the new, you know, the, the new moon was actually March 30th. Moon conjunct the sun in Aries. Now that sun has moved up and Mercury is coming right with it. We're having a sun Mercury Uranus conjunction over here in Aries. Mercury, Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury. Uranus is our nervous system. Mercury has to do with our nerve fibers, yeah? And our thinking. And Uranus is our third eye. And we put the sun in with that, conjunct with the south node of the moon, and we get emotionally charged thinking, like the blood rushes to our head and overwhelms us. This can be a time when people go nuts go crazy and lose it very seriously yeah uranus mercury is you know uh, insanity it can lead you know it can have to do with highly unstable mental yeah vibrations states of being so look out if you are going to try to escape don't od <laughs> this is a time of major overdose in every which way, shape, and form. Too much sex, too much love, too much work, too many drugs, too much food, too much excitement, too much stimulation. If anything, this is a time where breathe, chill, meditate, be still, go in nature, renew, rejuvenate, fast, go on a colon cleanse or something, let it all out. So we have this very powerful, yeah, sun. And at 26 degrees of Aries where the sun is for this eclipse, the Sabian symbol, which is a psychic picture of that degree of the zodiac, has to do with, yes, a man possessed of more gifts than he can hold. This is a man possessed of more gifts than he can hold. This is like, yes, this is like we are experiencing now this Uranus in Aries, this Jupiter in Cancer, that we are more than we've been told we were, we are more than we thought we were, and we have more power and more potential and more creativity, and it's like self-discovery. This is a time of tremendous self-discovery and enthusiasm and excitement, and it's like, yeah, bring it on. There's a part of us, yeah, Mars, square Jupiter, square Pluto, opposite Uranus is like, freaking go for it. And there's this, you know, it's like the racehorse, and the gun goes off, it's like, bam, charge. The thing is that this is new. It's new potential. 
You know, it's like uh, you're, you're a teenager and you're just getting your driver's license, you know? You never drove before. And you're feeling big, you're feeling powerful. You're like, yeah, man, I'm gonna drive, you know? And, and you, can, you, you can step on that gas too hard, slam on the brakes too hard, turn that wheel too hard, and crash. <laughs> this is a time to be very mature and very careful and not be too impulsive and not be overwhelmed by this new potential, by our new power, by our new awareness that we're all one and then it's all love and let's you know start the revolution and burn down the house. <laughs> talking heads. <laughs> That's perfect. Talking heads. I think they it was talking heads that did that song burning down the house. <laughs> yeah. That's a perfect Mercury Uranus uh, sun conjunction in Aries. <laughs> burning down the house. Ow. And then what? This is what's so beautiful about this time. The moon, the full moon, 26 degrees of Libra, is an eagle and a large white dove changing into each other. Whoa. Yeah? This is the dove symbolizing love and the eagle symbolizing will. And Beyond polarity, beyond the third dimension, our will and our love, you know, has the same intention, the same purpose. It's evolution. And the two of these changing into each other is this beautiful, beautiful symbol. Yeah, like yin and yang, masculine and feminine. Yeah, the eagle and the dove weaving. And Dane Rudyard talks about the faster you turn that yin yang, they, you know, they spin and turn into each other. There is this thing about speed going on now with Mars there, with this whole grand cross. Yeah, with this blood rushing to our heads. This is like a super powerful time where things can speed up and speed out of control. So there's a little bit of a warning, yeah, you know, with this eclipse to, to you know, to be mature to be relaxed, to stay calm, to not be too impulsive, and yet at the same time, seize the day, seize the moment, make the most of the opportunity. So that's what this is, right? This is like, you know, it's exciting. It's super exciting, but it's also super challenging. And we'll talk more, I, you know, for, the, for my, uh, this new paradigm community that I've got. I'm going to do the Sabian symbols for the Grand Cross and the Sabian symbols for the solar eclipse coming up. These Sabian symbols, I'm totally into them. I love them. They're, they're super powerful. I like Dane Rudyard's, uh, you know, the, the mandala of uh, the Sabian symbols. Check that book out, yeah? Um, but for now, I want to just uh, uh, wrap it up here. Yeah, uh, just saying that, you know, this is a time where, oh, it's time for the mantra. <laughs> I am so anxious, I'm ready to burst. It's hard to decide what to do first. I must remember that in this dimension, time holds the keys to my future expansion. We are infinite spiritual beings having a third dimensional earthly experience. We are here in bodies, in time, dealing with each other, dealing with governments, banks, institutions, partners, families. And we can, in our infinite spirit self, really not have the sense of time, the sense of boundaries. And that comes with what is Saturn. Father time is also maturity, becoming the elder, becoming the authority. If we want to take control of this planet, of our own future destinies, we have to be responsible. This is what Saturn in Scorpio is telling us. 
This is what Pluto in Capricorn is telling us. It's easy to criticize. It's easy to blame. It's easy to point fingers. Oh, it's their fault and they're screwing it up and they're, 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 they're. But until each one of us is ready and mature enough and patient enough and objective enough and in our own integrity and in our own truth enough, the universe will, life will, spirit will bestow upon us the power that we deserve the power that we are ready to manage and handle and direct responsibly. Life has its own justice, its own laws. And when we are ready, it's going to give us what we can handle. Make no mistake about it, yeah? We don't, you don't have to push the flow. We, each one of us has to work on our own shit. <laughs> so... Get your shit together, we'll all get our shit together, and we'll merge together our will and love. Libra, balance. Mars and Libra, balance between my will and your will, and turn it into our will. And our will is going to recreate this place. Ow! One more time if I can remember it. I'm so anxious, I'm ready to burst. I can't decide what to do first. I, have, I must remember that in this dimension, time holds the keys to my future expansion. Namaste, aloha. So much love and will.